Hi, this is Suchadatta, SST teacher and now I shall teach you the 10th chapter of class 8th history and the name of the chapter is the changing world of visual arts. First of all, you have to understand that art is life in itself and art changes with every new coming, with every new technology, with new age, with coming of the governments and thus in this chapter we would like to see about the changes which occurred in painting specially during the British period. If you look at a building with arches and domes, if you look at the beautiful colors around you, if you look at various other things which you do not notice otherwise, you will start realizing that art exists almost everywhere. And when the Britishers came to India, they changed the technique of Indian art. They gave us new forms of painting. They gave a new concept, a new visualization of the visual arts. So let's first of all talk about the imperial art. Imperial art means the art within the British period of India. First of all, the British artists came along with traders and rulers in India. As these people came to India, so came along the artists. And these artists gave to the Indian artists the new conventions of painting, the new forms of visual arts. And sometimes it got mixed and gave a new form of art in India. These artists who came to India started visualizing, started painting, started depicting various aspects of India. But from the eyes of the Western perception of India, not what they saw of India as such, but what they believed India was, what the Western world believed India is. That is what they started depicting and painting in their pictures. We also see that these artists who came to India gave another concept and that was the concept of realism. That is, they painted pictures which looked real and lifelike. That is, they were huge and there was certain style of keeping the lines, the figures, everything so intact and clear that the portrait or the painting seemed almost lifelike and real. Something which did not exist in India before the coming of the Britishers. Then we see that another thing that the Britishers got to India was the concept of oil painting. The Indian artists were not aware of oil paintings and thus with the coming of this new form of painting definitely the paintings which came forward looked more real and lifelike. So these were the new comings of the imperial art in India. Of course various artists produced various kinds of forms various kinds of paintings on various subjects but all of them had similarity in one thing and the similarity was that they always kept the British culture, its people and power at the top. That is these imperial artists believed that the culture of Britain was superior to the Indian culture the people of Britain were superior to the Indian people and of course the British power was definitely more superior to the Indians. That was the concept of the new artists who came along with the traders and rulers to India.